Hello Displorers and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we shall be taking you to the eastern part of Africa and we shall be shining the light on the beautiful country of Somalia. Somalia is a country located in the Horn of Africa, bordered by Ethiopia, Djibouti, and Kenya to the south. It has a population of approximately 17 million people spread across 637,657 kilometers square of land. Its capital and largest city is Mogadishu. Even though Somalia is one of the poorest countries in the world, the country has a rich cultural heritage with a diverse array of ethnic groups, languages, and traditions. Its current president, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, assumed office in 2022, taking over from Mohammed Abdullahi Mohammed. Somalia has gone through a long period of civil wars, which has led to the destruction of the country and made it less desirable for tourists. The history of Somalia is a complex and multifaceted story that spans thousands of years. The region has been home to a diverse array of peoples and cultures and has been shaped by a range of political, economic, and social forces over time. In this video, we will explore the history of Somalia from its earliest prehistory to the present day, with a focus on key events and trends that have shaped the region's development over time. Prehistory of Somalia The earliest evidence of human habitation in Somalia dates back over three million years, with the discovery of fossils belonging to early hominids. The most famous of these fossils is Lucy, a partial skeleton of a female Australopithecus afarensis that was discovered in Ethiopia, which borders Somalia to the west. In addition to early hominids, the region was also home to a range of wildlife, including elephants, lions, and hyenas. In more recent times, the region was part of a network of trading states that existed along the east coast of Africa from around the first century AD. These states, which included the kingdom of Aksum in present-day Ethiopia and the Swahili city-states of present-day Kenya and Tanzania, traded with merchants from across the Indian Ocean and the Arabian Peninsula. The Somali coast was an important part of this trading network, with goods such as ivory, gold, and slaves being traded for spices, textiles, and other luxury goods. Islamic Influence In the 7th century, Islam spread to the region and many Somalis converted to Islam and became part of the wider Islamic world. From the 9th to 13th centuries, a series of Islamic sultanates and empires emerged in the region, including the Ifat Sultanate, the Adil Sultanate, and the Ajuran Sultanate. These sultanates were centered on the coastal cities of the region and were involved in trade and other commercial activities with merchants from across the Indian Ocean and the Arabian Peninsula. The Adil Sultanate, which was founded in the 14th century, was particularly influential in the region. Under the leadership of Imam Ahmad ibn Ibrahim al-Ghazi, the Adil Sultanate launched a series of military campaigns against the Christian Ethiopian Empire, which was seen as a threat to the spread of Islam in the region. These campaigns, which were known as the Ethiopian Adil War, culminated in the Battle of Daga in 1543, in which Imam Ahmad was killed. Despite his death, the Adil Sultanate remained a powerful force in the region for several more decades and continued to promote the spread of Islam and the expansion of Somali influence. Colonialism During the colonial era, Somalia was divided into several different territories, with the northern part of the region coming under British control and the southern part coming under Italian control. The British colony, which was known as British Somaliland, was established in 1884, while the Italian colony, which was known as Italian Somaliland, was established in 1905. The two colonies were administered separately, with different legal systems, languages, and customs. The colonial period had a profound impact on Somalia, and contributed to the fragmentation and division of the region. The colonial powers introduced new systems of governance, education, and commerce, which often served to reinforce existing social and economic inequalities. They also encouraged the development of a small elite class, who were often educated abroad and had little connection to the broader Somali population. 
independence, and the Sied Barre regime. Somalia gained independence from colonial rule in 1960 when British and Italian Somaliland were united to form the Somali Republic. The new government, which was led by President Aden Abdullah Osman Da, faced a range of challenges, including poverty, underdevelopment, and political instability. In 1969, a military coup led by General Syed Barre overthrew the civilian government and established a socialist regime. Under Salad Bari's leadership, the government sought to modernize and industrialize the country with a focus on rural development, education, and healthcare. The regime also sought to promote unity and nationalism and attempted to suppress regional and ethnic identities in favor of a broader Somali identity. Despite these efforts, the Syed Bari regime was characterized by corruption, repression, and human rights abuses. The government relied heavily on Soviet and Cuban support and was involved in a range of conflicts with neighboring countries, including Ethiopia and Kenya. In 1991, after years of civil war and internal conflict, the Syed Bari regime was overthrown and Somalia descended into a period of chaos and violence, civil war and fragmentation. The collapse of the Syed Bari regime in 1991 led to a period of intense civil war and fragmentation in Somalia. The country was divided into a patchwork of clan-based factions, each vying for control of territory and resources. The conflict was characterized by extreme violence, including massacres, ethnic cleansing, and war crimes, and resulted in the displacement of millions of people. During this period, various warlords and factions controlled different parts of the country, with little central authority or governance. The lack of a functioning government led to a breakdown in basic services, including healthcare, education, and infrastructure, and contributed to poverty, disease, and malnutrition throughout the country. In 2000, a transitional government was established to restore stability and democracy to the country. However, the government was weak and ineffective, and struggled to exert control over the various factions and warlords operating in the country. In 2006, a coalition of Islamist groups known as the Islamic Courts Union ICU, gained control of much of southern Somalia, including the capital city of Mogadishu. The ICU offered a measure of stability and security to the population, but was seen as a threat by the United States and other Western powers who feared that it could become a haven for terrorist groups. In response, the United States supported an Ethiopian invasion of Somalia in 2006, which led to the collapse of the ICU and the re-emergence of clan-based factions and warlords. The intervention was widely criticized for exacerbating the conflict and leading to the displacement of even more people. Recent Developments In recent years, Somalia has made some progress towards stability and security, but remains a deeply divided and fragile country. In 2012, a new government was established under the leadership of President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, with the support of the international community. Since then, the government has made some progress in restoring basic services and infrastructure, and has worked to establish a federal system of governance that recognizes the autonomy of different regions and clans. However, the government remains weak and faces significant challenges, including ongoing conflict with the militant group Al-Shabaab and other armed factions, as well as poverty, underdevelopment, and corruption. In addition, Somalia has been hit hard by climate change and environmental degradation, which has contributed to droughts, floods, and other natural disasters that have devastated communities throughout the country. The country also faces a growing humanitarian crisis, with millions of people in need of humanitarian assistance due to conflict, displacement, and other factors. Conclusion The history of Somalia is a complex and multifaceted story that reflects the region's diverse and rich cultural heritage, as well as the challenges and struggles that have faced the country over the centuries. From the early hominids of prehistory to the Islamic sultanates of the medieval period, the colonial legacy of the 20th century, and the civil war and fragmentation of recent years, Somalia's history is marked by periods of innovation and progress, 
as well as conflict and instability. Today, Somalia remains a deeply divided and fragile country, with significant challenges to overcome. However, the country also has a rich cultural heritage and a resilient and vibrant population that continues to work towards a more peaceful and prosperous future. By addressing the root causes of conflict and instability, promoting good governance and accountability, and investing in sustainable development, Somalia can build a brighter future for its citizens and contribute to the broader stability and prosperity of the region. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel.